Hey guys, I'm LB, and, uh, I've had to lower the frame rate down to 30 again. Yeah, 48 frames just wasn't working out. Sometimes it would be laggy, sometimes it would be fine. It's really inconsistent, and, uh, I hate having to redo videos sometimes because of it. So, yeah, let's get started. With that out of the way, let's do new testing elements. Something that I have no idea what this is but supposedly it has new testing elements in it. Cave Johnson here. I need you to- Do not listen to this man. He's the other Cave Johnson. He's an imposter. You're the imposter, imposter. Chariots, chariots. Oh yeah? Chariots, chariots, chariots. Just keep testing. I'll settle this. No, I'll settle this. Shut it, you! And you, keep testing. <laughs> Let's see what these new testing elements are. Interesting. Apparently nothing that shows up on here. While I was out investigating, I found a fascinating new test element. It's never been used for human testing because, apparently, contact with it causes heart failure. The literature doesn't mention anything about lump of coal failure, though, so you should be fine. <laughs> okay, will this kill me or not? Let's find out. Okay. Well, that's just a detector, then. It's just a visible trigger. That's not so bad. I actually kind of wish this was actually in the game, so that players could see when they're triggering something to happen. Oh yeah, so this, is an e this is an easy thing to pull. Wait, how does the door open and close like that? Look, you can see it open and close into the walls! That's hilarious! I wonder if that happens in Puzzle Maker. Yep, there we go. Yeah, so this looks like it was made in Puzzle Maker originally and then enhanced with Hammer. Ooh. What do we have here? Will this kill me? What heck is this? Whatever it is, I can't interact with it. Interesting. That wall doesn't have anything in it. Okay, well, let's do this. Actually, this could be higher. What? Come on. Oh, whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's try this one more time. There we go. Okay. Still don't understand the point of this thing, whatever this is. Hmm. Maybe its use will become apparent. Soon. Maybe the laser is affecting it somehow? No? Maybe I put the cube in it? Aha, uh -huh, yes. It's a cube aligner. It aligns the cube for you. That's actually useful. Whoa. Did you see that? That doesn't look right to me. I don't know, something about that laser is just kinda at an angle. There we go. Oh, and that was literally it. Two new testing elements. That's cool. Though really, you can do a lot of that just, you know, without having the player having to see it. It is cool being able to see it, though. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in another episode. 
And uh, yeah, sorry about no longer being able to do 48.